day we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day We be grinding And if you wanna come and test us I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting all these Alright, hello everyone, this is Coach KK, this is Volume 2.5, Part 3, working from the spread playbook, formation shifting and spread sets, predominantly working from the 2x2 two two type of sets of formations. Um, we have the doubles offset, the doubles offset weak, the normal Y-off, and the flex Y-off. Here are the audibles, I'll kind of briefly explain that. This is from the double offset, we have two run plays, we have an inside and pretty much like an outside run along with a PA jet touch pass and we have that spot double slant for the running back to run a table route um, if you go over to the next set which is the offset week the running backs gets on the left side opposite side um, we, we running slants because that table route is in there also running half back draw um, going over to the normal Y off this is just because we have the jet touch pass, you know, the tight end. He's not flexed out, which is so convenient. Um, we also have a motion swing followed by the spot wheel. Both of them have um, pre-auto snap motion routes. And we have Texas. Texas is in the flex Y off along with trap, drill bait screen, and halfback slip screen. So, yeah, that's how we run it. This is, we don't just call plays out here. This is a system. You understand? Um... You may not understand everything in one big, you know, one at one time. It it just grow, you know. It it it'll come eventually to you. So yeah. Um, in fact, this is the first game right here that I discovered the whole entire scheme. <laughs> this is the game right here. So yeah, uh, nighttime in Baltimore. Here we go. Running that counter trap, that counter tray. It all depends on what the gap assignments are. You know that determines whether you're going to do base counter tray zone trap or any type of run and you and we're thinking run first what can I do with the queen piece um, you're gonna see this flood concept a lot uh, we're streaking circle um, the tight end is on the line of scrimmage so they often forget about him I'm trying to do some hot route nice and it's one of the few times we would go for fourth down you know we got to take a chance sometime Kyle Shanahan will take a chance and go for fourth down sometime like this so it's the first drive of the game so you know I ain't, we ain't hurting nobody all right, so that's that and if as you can see on the right side we're running an out route now we're anticipating deep thirds and the cornerback never even made a play on the ball that's all we wanted be on the lookout for the next video next video is going to be uh we're going to go against an aggressive cover three abuser and that's going to be fun right there so it's going to be similar to this play right here look at the db he's a star you know and and he never made a play on the man and you know we just took what the defense gave us Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, so it, it, it's all about, it's not about attributes and who's better than who. It's about capitalizing, you know, taking advantage of what's given to you, whether you're on offense or defense. I always check the cushion. See, the cushion ain't there no more, so that's why I'm audible into this swing route right here. And here we go. And he just made a better play than we did at that time. So we'll give kudos to number 99 out there on the on the right side out there, but we got a long way to go you know we got too much space and opportunity out here so here you go again we got that flood concept on the right side this is a three by one i don't know if you guys remember quarterback vision from back back in the days madden 05 madden 06 the qb vision i think it was madden 06 07 and 08 yeah that's what this reminds me of i always make sure i'm sending two and three people in one area and that way i'm already looking that way so Whoever is in my peripheral, you know, that's where the ball goes. The widest open man. <laughs> and that comeback route is very effective versus man coverage and deep thirds and deep fourths. So, yeah, you just got to read. You know, they got to make sure you, you account for the players lurking underneath the defenders, like these outside linebackers out here. No one sticking slot receiver. This is the bishop. And we hit them with a alert bubble. That play sometimes is a disaster. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> it, it's gold so yeah it's a hit or miss type of thing it all depends on what you're reading here he go trying to crown the box with the double a gaps he's pressing at the same time 
um, my offensive lineman's job is to block the man in front of you. So you're doing me a favor by by coming in like that. We don't have to go get you now. You, you're right here in our face. So that's why I run inside zone versus double A gaps. <laughs> we don't try to hit home runs. You know, we just need the first down. Keep the chains moving. This is a 10-yard fight. Look at him trying to slide the cornerback over here on the right side. Look at him. <laughs> Watch this. He's using now. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Hey. Yeah, man. You can't be out here trying to trying to be slick. He gonna manually put the user inside so he can get a two-way streak. Now I probably could have hit that streak route on him with circle. I gotta step on him, but you know, we're just playing it safe and conservative. Got a QB spot that I see you. And that was just a nice read. That's the flood concept. You know, we did a we did a, a deep out route. It, which comes out late, so late from, you know, the tight end because he's on the line of scrimmage and he's not flexed out. So, yeah, that's that. Lamar Jackson out here throwing picks. We appreciate you. And like I say, this was the first game I discovered this scheme right here. I had to put this out one time. So, yeah, that's how that goes. So, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but these guys give you the, the, the cover three look, the triangle look so much versus this. And yeah, I face cover three so much. Look at that. Look at that trap. Slow motion. Slow motion from me. Uh. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I know I kind of make it look easy sometimes. You know, I face adversity at times also. So yeah, just just know that part. So yeah, this guy right here, he went from one high safety to two high safeties. Really, you don't really get to start the run with the two high safeties. You need that extra support. So, And he's jamming in, trying to cheat in with the cornerback is, again. Yeah, that's funny. We tried to throw a little bubble alert screen. It didn't work out. It's all good. We keep it moving. You know, we got plenty of downs, plenty of more chances. So here we go trying to run Texas. Well, actually, the the wide side of the field is to the right. So that's why I'm running the flat right here. It, it, the flat route looked better right now. And it, it all depends on what the cornerback is doing out there. So they played everything. Nice, nice. We give them credit for that. First incomplete pass. Um, here we go once again. We saw where he was. That sometimes you got to do a play just to check and see where they're using that. Here we go on top of the cloud, and there's no sky. <laughs> he brought the sky down. He's he's the sky, you know, on top of the cloud, under the sky. But he's the sky because he's so concerned about Texas. <laughs> that Texas is so effective. So yeah, that's Texas and flood is pretty much the bread and butter of of this whole entire scheme. And then, you know, you got other hot routes and stuff that'll throw them off. So that's that. This is um this is the next drive. I I, did, I just kind of trimmed through everything and wanted to get down to the nitty gritty of how this game ended. He didn't last that long because we was just too technical for him, <laughs> too advanced for him and stuff. And we moving. Nice little screen pass to Raheem Morris. Let's go. First down. Yeah, like. I'm 12 for 13, two TDs. I really haven't made any mistakes on offense. And he's relentless in cover three. And that's what happened right there. He's out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get that. All you got to do, sometimes consistency is the key. You come out here and show these guys you're not playing. And it's aggravating. You know, when you when somebody going down the field, 15 play drives. And then, you know, they go get seven or three. and But then when they get on offense, two plays, they throwing picks like this. You know, that could be aggravating and devastating. So, yeah, I don't know. They need help. <laughs> so, yeah, that was me right there with the user pick versus America's team. This is the first drive on offense for me. Here we go. Just same concept. The guy's cheating in with his DBs. It's the same thing. We're running flood. That That's usually my first go-to type of play. What could we do with the queen piece on the chessboard? You know, the king and the queen running back quarterback. And then followed by the knights and the bishops and the rooks. So, yeah, that's how I always see it. What could we do with the queen piece? So, it's the same thing. And it all depends on, you know, the side, the, the field side or the boundary. Like right here, we're on the boundary side. So, we don't have all that space to go with the flood. Nice, nice little text. You see, see what we're doing to him? It's, it's early. We got him jamming in. He's so concerned about the running back. That he could forget about everything else. And look, everybody's just running. Into, it looked like we're, we're bowling out here. 
Oh yeah, gotta love it. Jet touch pass. It looked like we we're out here bowling. So yeah, use these pawn pieces to your advantage. Come on, man, y'all. Let me know what's up. What's up with the chess analogy? Do you like it? Can you dig it? Are you starting to feel it? You know, <laughs> this thing looks just like chess to me. This ain't checkers out here. This is chess. You know, every move counts. So we out here still running the flood concept. I'm I'm anticipating cover two. I'm anticipating for the DBs to stop, and we got a two on one streak out here. Phew. <laughs> now, what's going on is like I say, you're gonna see this tight end streak so much. You need to go loud that I'm anticipating the DB to stay home. You know, to stay in the cloud flat. And I could have went to circle or X, but he had he had a better leverage on circle. So I that's why I went to X. You know, if I'd have went to circle, I would have had to kind of pin it over the top in the corner and I didn't want to take that risky chance. So yeah, that's how we get seven like that. And then Kittle is like six two and I threw a high pass. So yeah. Inside, it's all about having inside leverage. Inside, inside, inside. And we isolate the user. You know, we, we move the user out the way. So here we go, running with Seattle. Seahawks, one of my other favorite little teams to run the scheme with. They have a lot of speed on offense. And that's what we're all about is speed. Nice. Carson. Inside zone. And something I noticed last game, well, last video, I meant. Something I noticed is you... you you're going to get your 100 yards on the ground with this scheme because for one thing this is um this is the three wide receiver personnel so they're going to be in nickel dime and quarter but let me go back real quick let me, I did not try to run this ball what happened was I got my out route on circle right and I tried to hit a low pass which is L2 and hold the analog stick back and he took off with escape artists <laughs> you know i rarely run with the quarterback so yeah I, I was just fortunate that the defense wasn't crashing in right there i tried to throw a low pass to circle i thought that was funny right there so yeah because that out route is open out there you guys know i'm gonna take my out route if they give in cushion so yeah like i say they're gonna line up in nickel dime and quarter because they're gonna try to match with the personnel so that's why that's why the run game you can't forget about the run game. You know, every down I'm coming out here, I'm thinking run first, run first. And then my mind, if if all the running plays are shut down pre-snap, then I'm thinking, you know, let's go with the out routes. Let's go with the flood concept on the right side. You guys going to like this right here. Watch this. I'm thinking cover two, and we split them. <laughs> Man, look at here. Now, I had a little bit of luck on my side. I'm not just going to say that was skill. That was well-timed. We'll give them that. That was well timed. And I was just trying to get in between the safeties and the DBs, you know, the, the cornerbacks and the safety. So that's how we got that off. But still, we're sticking to the core principles of the offense and the strategy. So, yeah. That was that. We got Jones rolling out. I don't know what he's doing. He can't see. Ah, give me that. As you guys can see, I'm up 14 6. Um, I haven't made any mistakes out here. So that, that's, that's, Two turnovers, and that's how that goes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, what can I run first? Which way can I run first? And then my mind elevates to the passing concepts. Nice, Everett. Caught him slipping. <laughs> I hear playing duck, duck, goose on him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I, I want to give this guy credit right here. Look at, we got the wide side. We're running the swing route, right? And I see him cheating over. Now, I'm giving him credit for not, because I'm audible and, and he's not moving off of his square. Notice he's still over there as a user on the left side of the field. And what I did was did the swing route, but I did a pass, you know, the spot wheel, just like um, that one scheme we have from the gun split slot and the slot offset. You know, when we do the motion and then we um, send the slot receiver on a slant. <laughs> yeah, so I gave him credit for that, but I still ended up winning that down you know you got to win the down sometime like that's how i i every down it, it's something to win you know it's a 10 yard fight all over the board so yeah this guy he's he's still giving cushion he's still in the little triangle look he's trying to disguise himself and we don't know where he's at blah blah <laughs> we're running texas we're running flood we got the out routes that's his cushion right there on the right side and he's all over the place. You know, I feel sorry for him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's how that thing go, man. So, 
Yeah, like I say, the main focal point of the whole scheme, guys, is to have your playbook out here on the field. You know, you want to make sure you optimize everything. You don't want to be out here calling timeout because you don't have this play. Ooh, look at that one cut. Yeah, you don't want to be calling timeout because you don't have certain plays. Look at this one cut. That's the skill. It's the small stuff that makes the difference. You got to do the little things right out here. All right, y'all, this is Coach KK. He couldn't take it no more. We, we hitting them with too many skills and user techniques. I'm out, y'all. Stay tuned for the next one. Get at me in the comments. This is how we do it every day. We be grinding. And if you ask me, we the best I'm going to be like. Yo, that's us with the crazy flow. And you're going to hear us on the radio. This is how we do every day. We be grinding. And if you want to come and test us, I'm going to be like. Yo, that's us with the crazy flow.